Hello everyone, this is Dr. Akshata Shanba. Today we are going to learn comparative study of Baraita Carbonicum. So before that we will see what is the sphere of action of this drug. So as we know it is a anti scrofulous remedy that means it acts mainly on the glands. So the glands swell, infiltrate and there is hypertrophy. You find glands in the neck, parotids, submaxillary, groin, lymphatics and even in the abdomen the glands will be infiltrated or swollen, enlarged. There is hypertrophy of the glands and sometimes we see even suppuration present. It acts on the CVS and the blood vessels, so mainly on the muscular coats of the heart and the blood vessels. So what does it do in the muscles? So it causes arterial fibrosis. So where the blood vessels will become soften and degenerate, they start distending, aneurysms occur, rupture occur and even apoplexies are seen in the parieta car. It acts even in the CNS where the brain is not developed normally in infants and you find degenerative changes seen in the cerebral vessels in the old age. It is also useful in lipoma or the fatty tumors. Now we will see the comparisons between the drugs. So the first main comparison we will see between the Baraita Carb and Silesia. So both the remedies have offensive feed sweat head is disproportionately large for the body there is aggravation from damp changes in the weather they are sensitive to cold about the head there is general emaciation with enlarged abdomen so the difference what we find in both the drugs is so in silesia as you can see there is profuse offensive sweat in the head while you don't find that much of sweat in the head in the varieta car and as a uh, uh, child or as a person the Baraita carb is a there is a weakness of mind so while Silesia we find they are very obstinate self-willed and contrary and in Baraita carb we see tonsillitis affection more whether acute or chronic from suppressed food sweat while Silesia you will find convulsions or spinal troubles or even locomotor ataxia from suppressed food sweat. So then we will see the difference between Baraita Carb, Calcarea Iode and Conium. All these three remedies are anti scrofulous drugs. All act on the glands. So mainly on the tonsils when it acts. So Baraita Carb has enlarged tonsils with formation of pus. Uh, which we call Quincy and uh, Calcarea Iode you find enlarged tonsils which are filled with little crypts or pockets while in the conium there are enlarged tonsils without any tendency to suppuration they will be just hard and induration then Baraita Carb and Iodum Iodum is also an anti-scrofulous drug so here he gives a comparison that Baraita carb is, have, uh, is having a fair complexion while iodum has a dark complexion, dark hair and eyes, sallow skin. So here you find Baraita carb dwarfishness, weakness of the mind while iodum is intolerably crossness is present. That means they are very irritable. Anger will be more in the iodum. Then Baraita carb and Calcarea carb. So both of the drugs you find weak minded who cannot walk they are very anxious very restless both the remedies you find that. So when there is late learning in talking and walking and all we think of these two drugs but now how to differentiate both. So Baraita Kaab has this weakness of mind because of defective brain development and Calcarea Kaab has defective osseous growth bones become thin and brittle there is late learning to walk with good limbs in the uh, Baraita carb while in Calcarea there is late walking with weak limbs flabby muscles poor bones that is the difference when there is a calcium deficiency we think of Calcarea carb because of which they are not able to walk so while Baraita carb the brain is not developed where there is a difficulty in learning to walk 
then comes baraita cup causticum and ourselves in all the three you find full of their imaginations imaginary cares and worries and fear of something is going to happen this is anxiousness you find in all the three drugs then baraita cup and phosphorus is having one common symptom where it is Uh, used in old paralytic conditions that have come from a rupture of blood vessel and causes pressure upon the nerve supply as i said you that the baraita cup has action on the muscular cords of the blood vessels so aneurysms are common in the baraita cup so when there are aneurysms rupture is the risk so when there is rupture definitely it can cause a uh, pressure on any of the areas so paralytic effect will be there because of which then comparing baraita ka phosphorus chamomile and heparsel so baraita ka we see sore throat come on very slowly after many days of exposure there is a gradual growth and gradual development they are not violent and they are ameliorated by heat while phosphorus we find sore throats come suddenly violently after exposure and rapidly causes suppuration which is ameliorated by heat chamomilla tonsillitis occur with ear involvement ear complaints there will be ear pain also along with the tonsillitis sometimes we may get confused with the mumps and they are also better by heat then hepar self there is rapid inflammation and goes on to suppuration which is ameliorated by heat so he says that carbovitch carbo animalis natremure and baraita cup all have three uh, the same indication of headache where there is a sensation of weight in the eyebrow with headaches as if the forehead was pressing down over the eyes baraita ka baraita mure and tuberculinum have a common symptom that is knots of lymph node lymphatic nodes down the neck under the ear will be observed so there is enlargement of the glands i told you lymphatic glands when they are enlarged so swollen you find as if there is a knots present around the under the ear then natrum mure calcarea cup and baraita cup all the three remedies the infant looks like a o oh, little old person then baraita ka baraita mure senega and ammoniacum have rattling respiration baraita ka kali ka graphitis and uh, mercor have gagging and choking with a little food means what a little food they will have then immediately they feel choking sensation will be there they can't the food doesn't enter into the esophagus so these all comparisons are taken from ea farrington clinical matra medica eb nash leaders in homeopathic therapeutics with grouping and classification w borick book pocket manual of homeopathic matra medica and repertory clark dictionary of practical matra medica and jt kent lectures on homeopathic matra medica thank you